Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to take another look at a freaking awesome, cheap, budget style USB microphone. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at, like I said, another USB microphone, specifically the FiFine Technology K670 USB mic, the one that we're talking into right here. All of the audio in this video is definitely recorded through this microphone. So if you like what you hear, the link in the description is below. Okay, so K670, nice little USB microphone. Let's go ahead and jump into the features, the specs, and then I'll get into what my thoughts and why I think all of the new Twitch streamers out there, especially the ones that are starting out, should definitely consider this for your Twitch streams. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features. Okay, so the features are as follows. This has a 16 millimeter condenser style capsule. It is of the cardioid polar pattern or unidirectional is what they like to call the USB space. It has a blue LED power light. It also got a headphone monitoring system on it with a volume knob on the front. And be careful though, because the volume knob on the front also controls the gain. So if you turn that up, your gain is going to be way too high. Just keep that in mind. It also has an all metal construction, comes with this nice little stand, and it's kind of, it's actually a pretty nice little package. It all com comes with everything you see right here. This also works with Mac and Windows, so it doesn't matter what operating system you guys are on, this will work with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the specs. Like I said earlier, this is a unidirectional cardioid polar pattern. The frequency response of this is 50 hertz all the way up to 15,000 hertz. It's pretty nice. I mean, I didn't expect that much from a $47 microphone. So that's pretty sweet. This also has negative 46 decibels of sensitivity as well as a sound pressure level of 120 decibels. So pretty, pretty robust specs there for a $47 microphone. And it doesn't sound half bad. And I'm pretty sure it sounds better than the Blue Yeti. We'll do a shootout video to see about that though. But in my, for my testing, this sounds better than the Blue Yeti. We'll get into that in just a second. So the reasons to consider this microphone for, especially for all of you Twitch streamers that are looking to upgrade your audio quality, that you guys just started Twitch streaming, you've been doing it for a couple months and you're like, hey dude, I like this, but my audio quality is not that great. I've been talking off of my headset microphone, 47 bucks. Not a lot of money for a USB microphone. And for this style of microphone with this presentation, with this build quality and with this sound, 47 bucks, that's gonna elevate your audio quality tenfold over your Astro Ray 40 headset, over your HyperX headset, no matter what headset you guys are using, unless you have a broadcast style headset, I would probably continue using that. For 47 bucks, you're gonna elevate your audio quality a lot. This thing is actually pretty impressive for the price. Another reason to consider this is because it sounds great. It just, to me, it sounds better than the Yeti. We're gonna do a shootout video between the two to compare audio quality, but from my testing, this sounds better than the Yeti and just the cardioid polar pattern. That's all this mic does. Whereas the Yeti is the jack of all trades. It does stereo, it does cardioid, it does, it does omnidirectional. You can use it for a ton of different things, but the capsule size makes a difference. This has a 16 millimeter capsule, whereas the Yeti does not. Yeti has three smaller capsules to capture your voice, and the Yeti tends to pick up more background noise in my opinion. This one doesn't. So it's a big difference there that I think this one wins in terms of sound quality, but we'll do the shootout video so you guys can compare and see what you guys think. Another reason why to consider this mic is if you're a on-the-go streamer, you take your laptop to conventions, things like that. This is a small and compact little package and it comes with a stand so you can just set it up right there in a hotel room with your laptop. You can be streaming away right there. Take a C920 webcam with you and you've got a full feature stream station right there from your hotel bedroom. So. Nice little compact thing. And it also is compact for those of you that don't have a lot of space on your desk. And you need to, like say you just need to upgrade a ton of stuff. Your desk is one of them that you're gonna upgrade in the future and you have a smaller desk. This is gonna look great on, and, and small. You can just kind of tuck it away to the side. Still gonna capture your voice nice and, nice and neat. So definitely another reason to consider that if we're being small and compact. 
We've been talking about the uses, but let's get really in depth with it. So Twitch streamers, you guys are really going to want this mic. It's going to be a fantastic mic for elevating your audio quality. Audio quality is key when you're Twitch streaming and this microphone actually really impressed me. It's, it, you can even use it for a podcast. If you guys do podcasts and you have a boom arm or something of that sort, put it on the boom arm, start using this thing. You can get a nice little shock mount on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Put this thing on a shock mount. It's going to be awesome. I would probably recommend getting a windscreen or something of that so you can kind of combat plosives. But for a Twitch streaming mic, this thing is fantastic. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth the 47 bucks for Twitch streaming or just getting into podcasting. This thing is pretty impressive. Now, there are some cons with that. One of the cons being was I had a little bit of a quality control issue. Um, with this microphone and it had nothing to do with the internal like circuitry of the mic But it had to do with the speaker grill when I got it. It was put on wrong So like the little brackets that you see here on the microphone were actually turned towards me so I was speaking onto the Bracket and that would have kind of hindered the performance the speaking performance of it Contacted Fifi and they got back to me. I got it fixed right away um, They gave me two options one was I can get a little hex screw. I had a PC I have a little PC building kit and it's got a little hex screwdriver. Fit in there perfect, I unscrewed both sides, realigned it, put the screws back in, easy peasy. But the other option they gave me was to just replace the mic all like outright. They were like, just send it back to us, we'll send you a new one out, no problem. And I was like, I don't have time for that, no worries. Um, I can fix it myself. And they were like, hey, if, we, if you want a new mic, just let us know. So kind of a con and a plus was, the con was I had an issue, but the plus was, Fifine has awesome customer service. Like they got out to me within like a couple hours of my email. So props to you and kind of a con, but it's okay. We got it fixed. And this is kind of a con to USB mics in general. When this is something you have to consider when getting into streaming for all of you starters out there. This is a great starter mic, but later on down the road, when you get really serious, you're gonna wanna go into XLR setups. This is probably a topic for another video, but to me, that like the, you don't have a lot of expandability with a USB mic. This is all you get. But for the sound and for the price of this thing, I don't really care about any of that right now because I just elevated my audio quality tenfold over that headset mic for 47 bucks, guys. This thing is incredible for the money. Definitely gets two thumbs up from me. Definitely worth your money. It's an awesome, awesome little product. It's an awesome little mic. One major con I would probably give this thing is I do get some line noise from the USB. That's, that's really re prevalent in a lot of USB microphones out there. I, I've noticed it a little bit more with this one, but still, I'm not gonna really complain about it because it's 47 bucks. That is insane to me that you can get this quality of microphone for that little of money. This beats out the Blue Yeti and sound quality. This beats out, the, this destroys the Snowball. Like this thing over the Snowball, I would pick every single day of the week. Um, we're actually gonna do a shootout video coming up very soon between this and the Yeti to see which one sounds better. Yeah guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, give me a thumbs down and leave me a comment in the comment section on what you guys would like to see more of on the channel. Leave me like some sort of product you guys would like to see and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Also, leave me a comment and tell me what you think about the audio quality of this mic. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it and you wanna hear a different USB mic, let me know as well. We've actually got a couple on the channel so you guys can reference that. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Be sure to follow myself and True Gaming on social media. All of that is in the description below. And um, I'll see you next time, guys. Let's get some more reviews pumped out. I'll see you in the next one. My shadow out. Peace, guys.